All right, so here we are. Part four, frame is done, it's all put together. Pocket holes, dowels, all right? So this is the back of the frame, and uh, normally you wanna put a picture in here, right? You're gonna put some kind of piece of uh, plexiglass with a picture to protect it and close up the back. So we need to have some kind of indent or groove that goes around the perimeter here, okay? So that the piece will fit in. We can keep a picture in there and be able to change it out and, and things like that, all right? So we're gonna do that using a router, all right? And then we're gonna use this small handheld router here. This is a smaller one here. And this is the bit we're gonna use. This is normally called a rabbiting bit, okay? It's got that bearing on top. We watch the videos where it shows you how to do that. So what's gonna happen is that bearing, all right, is gonna, let's try to see this here going to ride along the edge of our piece of wood as we do our router okay and then this is going to cut right into it okay uh, probably like an eighth of an inch deep maybe three sixteenths but that'll ride its way right around okay I'm going to install this bit in this router here using a wrench all right and then we'll get set up to do that Okay, if you remember from the video, we had half inch and quarter inch shanks. This is a quarter inch shank because this is a much smaller router. Okay, there's the collet for the quarter inch shank. All right, this one, take it off, put the bit in. Okay, not all the way, just leave a little bit, a little bit of it showing right there. Okay, and I have this little locking button here, and then I turn it, get it tight. All right, and with that locking mechanism on, I also use the wrench and I turn it, make it tight, nice and tight. So that's nice and tight. And then I put my fixed base back on. Okay, and then <clears throat> this is where I would adjust the height. I can unlock this and decide how high I'm going to make my groove or my bit height from there. And I lock it in place. It's ready to go. Now, before I get started, as a precautionary measure, I took out this one pocket hole screw that was right here. I just felt it was a little too close to the edge. When I start to use the router, I didn't want the router bit to hit the metal part of the screw. It'll ruin the bit. Um, you know, it's just a unnecessary risk. So this is all glued and, and, and screwed here. So it's not going to affect my frame too much at all, and I can always put the screw back in when I'm done. But for routing, um, this little groove out is a good measure to take this one, just this one screw out that's closest to the edge. This one over here is okay. This one's not gonna get too close, um, but just that one right here took out. Okay, so I got my bit put in, all right? The depth I want it, it's a little over an eighth of an inch, all right? And I'm gonna use this router and again, from we watch from the videos, this is the way, looking at the back of the router, the way the bit's spinning in a clockwise direction, okay? The way the cutter head is gonna spin, all right? And it's really important um, when we're gonna be routing this out. You can see on here, I have the arrows for the way I'm gonna route, it, route this out. I'm gonna be going clockwise direction here. So I'm going with the bit, I'm kind of fighting against the bit. If I was to go backwards this way, the bit would grab onto the piece of wood and throw the router out of my hand, okay? Going this way gives me more control because I'm kind of fighting the bit and going around and staying in the piece of work. If I was going around the outside of the frame, it changes, it's in a different orientation. Now I wanna go this way and kind of work with the direction of the bit because if I went the other way, it would grab onto the piece of wood and just throw the router out of my hand um, and probably make a mess. Uh, but, you know, this is why I have it um, labeled here. This is the direction, very important to when you're using a hand router, know which way it's spinning, okay? And then you wanna work with the direction of the bit. On the outside, I'm gonna go this way but I'm not gonna do it on the outside. I'm only going on the inside here, but I just wanted to show you how that changes, okay? But this is the way routers look, at the, looking at the back of them, and then we're just gonna route this out here. I'm gonna keep this perfectly flat, as flat as I can, and just work my way around the inside of the frame, probably twice to make sure it's nice and cleaned out. And then I'll have my groove in there at this depth 
of the router bit. Okay, so now you can see this got routed out. Nice square cut here all the way around. And that was the bit that we used. Just makes that nice square cut out in there. All right, and you see that's why I took out that one screw because if we would have went around with that, probably would have clipped the head of the screw there and would have chipped up the bit. But that's what we did with the router there for the back of the frame so we could put our picture and our glass in. Okay, so here's my router table at home. All right, it's all set up here. I've got the bit in there on the top of the table. And if you look down below the table here, this is where the router motor is set up and, and mounted on the inside so that just the bit is sticking out of the table on the top, all right? Uh, you see the arrows here. This is the direction we always go in with the router table from right to left. All right. Um, this is basically the bit I have installed right now. It's called a cove bit. All right. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us this nice little decorative kind of uh, edge to the edge of our frame. Okay. And that's what we're going to do in there. And also you kind of see, these are all my router bits. I have them right next to my table here. There's a ton of stuff here, it's crazy. Anyway, uh, very versatile tool. I use this tool a lot, especially the table. But we're gonna do this on the frame. We're gonna run the frame through, but this is the front of the frame, all right? So we're gonna do, make sure we run our frame face down because that's where the cutter head is, okay? So we run this frame face down, we push it through. And what it'll do is it'll cut that cove on the front of the frame. And that's what we're going to do. One thing here is if you sand your frame or don't sand your frame, then run it through the router. It'll cut the edge. And then if you sand it, it'll mess it up. You might just have to run it through again. But um, you should really sand your frame first to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then run it through the router table. All right. Okay, so what I got installed here now in the hand router, the small hand router, this is called a chamfer bit, okay? It's just like this one. It's just a 45 degree cutting angle with the bearing in it, all right? It's the same thing in there. And I'm gonna use this, okay? It's gonna create just this 45 degree angle on this one side here, all right? And you can kind of see that. All right, on the piece of wood. All right, it's called a chamfer. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little visual interest to the inside of the frame here, the frame edge. We've got our cove here. I'm just gonna give it a little more decorative appeal to the inside. Make sure we gotta follow that pattern here. We wanna go clockwise, all right, when we're doing the inside of this here. Um, if we were doing the outside edge with a hand router, Okay, we would have to follow these arrows going around. All right, so we're gonna do that.
So there we go. We got our cove routed in to the router. We got our, our frame. We got our chamfer put in there. Kind of decorates the outside, makes it look a little fancier. And then we also got our rabbit or our groove in the back side, which will put the glass in the picture in. That's the router on our frame.